Super. Pursuant to Chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021, this meeting will be conducted via remote means. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so in the following manner by emailing Steve McCarthy at McCarthyS at AmherstMA.gov. That's M-C-C-A-R-T-H-Y-S at AmherstMA.gov. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via technological means. In the event that we are unable to do so for reasons of economic hardship and despite best efforts, we will post on the town website an audio or video recording, transcript, or other comprehensive record of proceedings as soon as possible after the meeting. And with that done, let's call the meeting to order at 5.04 p.m. Take a roll call of attendance. Gaston. Here. Hallie. Here. And I am here, so that's three present with two absent. Um, do we have anyone here for public comment? I am um, seeing nobody. Nobody's there. Okay, no public comment. Uh, let's move on to licenses, liquor license transactions. So Steve, this is still going on, this, um, this cousin's market thing. Yes. So um, before our last meeting, I spoke with um, the applicant and he said that um, they were going to be doing the transaction, but they had to make some changes. They made some deal with the lease where um, the license will be pledged to um, the landlord. And um, given that that will have to happen, that would need a new um, a new advertisement as well as uh, further um you know, changes the application. It seems to me that it would be best just to withdraw and resubmit rather than, um, you know, at a certain point it, it really becomes uh, Theseus's application, if you will, when everything's been, uh, you know, changed. <laughs> um, so I, um, the applicant agreed to withdraw the application. I asked him to put it in writing. Um, I have not gotten that yet. Okay. Um, I guess I will leave that to you all. I mean, we could deny the application without prejudice. We could just continue it again. Um, but I don't believe it can continue in its current form. Okay, so do we have to vote on this today? So they haven't withdrawn and you haven't heard from him. He and... verbally withdrew, but he, he hasn't oh, withdrawn okay. in writing. Yeah. Okay, should we just wait for that? Or what does everybody else think? Just de Is there a, any repercussions to denying the application? I mean, he, he's got to re reapply anyway, just so we, we can get it off our, or should we give him another week? Since we're meeting next week, I mean, if, if if what I what I heard from you, Steve, is that there's no if there's no it doesn't really complicate their life if we deny it without prejudice and they just kind of activate it when they're ready. Is that right? Yeah, they would have to resubmit. I mean, it'll have to be re-advertised and oh, change significantly. They'll be asking for the you know, pledge is a separate transaction to be applied for. So. Oh, okay. Um, okay. I don't believe you have to report denials or anything. I know you have to report discipline on, on liquor license applications. I don't believe you have to report denials, but I'm not hundred percent sure. Okay. Um, well, let's, until we know oh. that. Yeah, sorry, Heli. Oh no, I was gonna say until we, let's hold off on denying it until we know, cause I would hate yeah. to do anything that might hurt them. Yes, let's, I agree with that as much as I'd like to just end it cleanly. Um, so do we I need to in do that case, it would need to be opened and then continued. Oh, should we do that until they withdraw it? Okay. Um, so let's open the hearing. Was there a motion to open the hearing for the transfer of all, all alcohol off premises license and change of location Shilpa Enterprises Inc. to Oxbow Wines LLC, 132 Coles Road? In admiration of formalities, I move to reopen the hearing. <laughs> Thank you, Gaston. Is there a second? I second. Thank you, Hallie. Um, all right, let's, we'll take a vote. Gaston. Aye. Hallie. Aye. And I vote aye. That is three to zero with two absent. And so the liquor license uh, continuation of this is reopened. The hearing is reopened. And now we're going to continue the hearing. Do we need to close it and then continue it or can we just continue it? Or do just we need to continue. do anything? All right, so is there a motion to continue the hearing? So moved. Thank you, Hallie. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Gaston. Let's take a vote. Hallie. Um, 
This oh, wait. Is, if Sorry. I may interject, I think we would need to continue it to a time certain, which would be next week is our next scheduled meeting. Okay, uh, let's move. Is there a motion to continue it until August 4th at 5 p.m.? So moved. moved. Thank yeah. you, Hallie. And is there a second? second? Thank you, Gaston. Let's take a vote. Hallie. Aye. Gaston. Aye. And I vote aye. That is three to zero with two absent. The um, It's continued until the 4th. And so can you check out with that guy again, Steve? Yes. Like shoot him an email just so, because it's like, I don't know, it's sort of like that poem. What am I thinking of? The albatross. Anyway. Never yes. <laughs> um, okay. Discussion items. Let's move on to discussion items. So uh, I had Steve send around something from Mandy Johanneke, guest on, I think you got it earlier about key changes in general bylaws. And this is sort of some housekeeping that she is doing for the town council to move the fees out of the bylaws into their proper sphere. One of them is ours, which is the um, rental registration and, well, not, not rental registration, the um, lunch carts and the soliciting ones. So um, I had this put on the agenda so that we could have a preliminary discussion. I invited Mandy to our meeting. She could not make this week because CRC is meeting this week, but she can come next week at the fourth. She's got it on her calendar. I think we should all be back by then. Um, so I don't know if we wanted to, if there's anything to talk about. I mean, it seems pretty straightforward to me. Um, if we have, do we, we, there are fees in place for this already as for these things. And they just need to be, I mean, if we didn't want to change them, right away, we can just leave them as they are and pop them into our regulations. So that's why that's there. Are there any questions or comments or do we wanna change any fees or no? Just wait for Mandy. Yeah, I, I mean, I would just say that this is something that Doug started talking about. Right. Mandy seems to be proposing exactly what what we would like, and and so I, you know, it's, it all it's all seems good to me. I'm uh, happy to hear what she wants to tell us. Okay, great, great. So that's that. Um, Steve, was there anything else tricky about this that we needed to go over? I don't think so. I included um, fee changes on the agenda too. Okay. Um, just so you know, whatever meeting we do, they know probably good to set to set. I mean, I guess there's not really anything wrong with setting the setting the fees in duplicate and having the license commission officially um, set the fees at the exact same price, you know, and then whenever the uh, town council amends those bylaws, um, it will um, kind of revert to that. I don't think there's anything wrong with having the fees listed twice if they're the same. Right. And so, that way we avoid any gap in coverage. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, so would be, but that. okay. So um, do we want to vote on those today or should we just wait till that? I mean, they haven't even voted on it. It's not till like they're not voting to the end of August. Is that right? Am I reading that right? Yeah. I'm just thinking about notice. I mean, maybe it would be be best to set the um, the the agenda to, to say the fee change to those specific things. Um, okay. So we can just do that next time, I think would make the would, most sense. Okay. You mean it's, uh, a set the, like do the notice for next meeting or do it for the meeting after that? Yeah, just have a little bit, um, you know, the notice say, you know, fee changes to solicitor and... Um, Okay. I forget what the other two were, but. Okay, all right, great. Okay, so any other questions on that? Nope, okay. Adult use marijuana regulations, Doug is not here. Um, so we will talk about that hopefully next time. Rental registration, how is that? Now that's part of a larger conversation that yes. the town council is having. And we can, we can ask, um, should we put that on the agenda, um, Steve, for next week so that so that Mandy can speak freely about that? Yes. I think that would make a lot of sense while we yes. have it, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Great. And that'll be really helpful. Okay, great. Um, lunch cart regulations. I have nothing for you this week. I'm very sorry. Although uh, we had a good conversation about it at the last meeting and I do have um, some things to go over, hopefully for next time. Um, including reciprocal licenses, how to deal with parking fees, and ice cream trucks, which apparently are a different thing. So really? Can, yeah, well, it, they're separated. Uh, what, out. what makes them different? I don't know. They're just noted differently. It, it, like the lunch cart regulations apply to everything except ice cream trucks. And we were kind of talking about that last time a little bit. And I haven't had 
the chance to um, figure that out. But um, I think that Wait, might be. Oh, maybe, it's everything's, maybe it's because everything is packaged on ice cream trucks for the most Oh, part. it could be, yeah. So I think I'm going to talk to email Susan because we've got to also talk to her about some other things regarding this and see if she may know. Maybe they do it through the um, health department. I know there um, are some um, special regulations in state law for background checks that ice cream truck uh, drivers need to go Oh, through. yeah, sure. Right. I'd imagine they would have that. Okay. Um, anything else? Nothing else on lunch cart regulations, guidelines slash regulations for liquor license decisions. I was supposed to have those for you guys today and I don't, I will. Okay. Get them so you can vote on them hopefully next week. Okay. Super. Thank you. Um, okay. Topics not reasonably anticipated 48 hours prior to the meeting. Oh, did you want to know, should we just tell them what happened with, um, Hazel's Blue Lagoon last time? Cause you two weren't here, right? Should we go now? I was that? Were you here? No, Station. I wasn't here. Is it appropriate? I would, to, I, I would love to know what happened. Is it appropriate to talk about it, Steve? Or um, maybe just a um, you know, there's always a uh, under review of minutes. We could do a verbal um verbal discussion of what happened last time. Certainly. Okay. Do we have minutes to review? I don't know, but we could do a verbal. Oh, we discussion. could do it. Okay. Yeah. So are there any other topics not reasonably anticipated forty eight hours prior to the meeting? No. Okay. So review of minutes. So, um, so they came in and I'll just give you kind of a quick version. And we had to get, they needed a uh, common victuallers license and a live entertainment license. And we also, I also said very briefly, well, you know, I was at the, the hearing for the ABCC and hope that everything is going well and uh, that you've made all the changes. And uh, he was very, I would say, kind of not, he didn't elaborate and said that they had now had two scanning machines instead of the one scanning machine extent, supposedly extant scanning machine. And also that the advertisement for happy hour or for the 2 a.m. were both misprints on Instagram. And that's what happened. Do you wanna add anything, Steve? I think that uh, probably both covers it went pretty quickly. Okay, yes. So um, we'll see what happens. I don't know, but um, everything, everyone was very polite. Yeah. And we haven't heard back from the ABCC, have we? Steve? No, still not, still haven't. So they haven't issued a decision or they're just not saying that they haven't? Um, to my knowledge, they haven't. I mean, usually they will um, copy us in the decision. So I haven't gotten anything. Okay, all right. Well, I guess, I guess we'll find out, I hope. Um, anyway, so that's what kind of what happened. And then there was some more discussion about um, lunch carts, as I said before. Um, anyway, that's it. Um, so that's a quick meeting. Uh, I have down our next meeting because we're doing the first and the third Thursdays. <clears throat> as the 4th at 5 p.m. and then the 18th at 5 p.m. So does that work for everybody? Um, I will not be there. I have my hip replacement on the 3rd, oh, so gosh, I don't okay. think I'll be um, okay. there. Well, I hope it, hope it goes well. I hope Thank you. <laughs> yeah, best <laughs> hope for a quick recovery and um, would, yeah. would break a leg be appropriate? No, or? it would not no, be appropriate. It would be fabulous. Absolutely not. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Yes. Okay. So we won't see, unfortunately, we won't see Hallie. Um, and then um, I guess the, after the 18th school, the back to school is coming up really quickly. So if we want to talk about whose schedules and who's going to be busy on what night, that would be great. So I can say that. Uh, our current time should continue to be fine for me personally. Oh, fabulous. Does that work for you, Hallie, as far as you know? As far as I know. Okay, great. All right, super. Okay, um, and that's all. Are there, is there anything else? Anyone has questions? No, okay. I guess we're, is there a motion to adjourn? So. Yes, motion to adjourn. Thank Second. you, Hallie. Is it, thank you. Um, all in favor, well, let's take a vote. Gaston. Aye. Allie. Aye. 
And I vote aye that is three to zero with two absent. We are adjourned at 5.18 PM. Um, thanks very much. And I will see you, I'll see you Gaston and Steve next week. Thank you, Steve. And Helen, right. hope it all goes well. Thank you. I'll see you guys on the 18th. Yeah, see you on the 18th. I'll see you all then. Right. Okay, Bye. Bye. Bye.